Hey everyone. So this is uh, the object we're going to create today uh, in this video. As you can see, I felt it would make a rather beautiful pencil holder or uh, some other interesting decorative item. And it would probably be a good candidate for 3D printing as well. Uh, this is actually a render I did really quickly just to illustrate that. Now, I don't know if this shape has any official algebraic or mathematical description, um, but my friend David Brennan chose to call it a ported cube, so that's what I'll go with as well. Um, David created this object uh, using his own unique solid modeling techniques uh, on his channel using Wings 3D, and he did it in uh, just under a minute. Um, so I thought it might be an interesting learning experience uh, to see if we could do the same or better in 3ds max um, in the same time frame or better I should say all right so let's get started um, I'm just open to a blank scene here uh, the first thing we want to do is bring a cube into the scene all right and um, We'll give it three by three by three segments on length, width, and height. So you'll have this. All right, then we'll go into uh, apply and edit poly, go into face mode and select three of the corner faces, and then go to select similar, and then delete. Select one of the middle faces, select similar again, and uh, Shift click extrude and extrude it into itself until the faces are just about touching. And then we'll control click on vertices and then click back on polygon, delete those faces, go back to vertices, shift click uh, weld, and adjust the uh, threshold until you see that they are all welded up. Just like that. Next step is to apply a shell and finally a turbo smooth and we'll give it a couple iterations here all right and there it is that's the uh, that's the object in question here the ported cube um, I'll give it three iterations just to make it nice and smooth um, you could definitely get this done I mean if you were working quickly you can get this done and probably I did it in a different video just as a test in uh, like 38 seconds or so there's only a few steps to it as you can see but the result is uh, it's quite a beautiful symmetrical object and um, it caught my eye when I saw David David's video of, uh, of his wings 3d version so I just wanted to uh, bring it into 3ds max and see if we could uh, do the same in here and uh, very quickly I came up with this technique all right, so I may actually uh, do a blender tutorial as well, so keep an eye on my channel for that. All right, so this is the object. I uh, hope you like this tutorial. It's a very quick one, but uh, I'll be coming out with a couple more this weekend. All right, so keep on the lookout. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. All right, thank you very much. See you soon.